instead of a role model, I want to be a real model. Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey y'all, welcome back. Hey y'all, welcome back. Okay, um, Merry Christmas Eve. That's crazy. It's like literally Christmas Eve. That is freaking crazy, y'all. Like, I truly feel like me and Terry just went out on New Year's. What the fuck happened? Like, <laughs> seriously, like, I know y'all feel like this too. And I had a whole baby, and I feel like I had a baby in like four months. I don't know, but Merry Christmas Eve, man. Merry New Year, Merry Christmas. Wait, not Merry New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Tell them openly. Tell them I'm on. Merry Christmas. Anyway, I got to show y'all what my baby Amanda sent me yesterday. And I was like so excited. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so this is the type of shit that she do. So you know how like somebody will post something on Instagram and you know like in their story and you know you see it or whatever you be like, oh my god, I love that. You know what I'm saying? Like them just sharing somebody else's stuff. Like it was a sweatshirt that she shared, and I was like, oh my god, I love it so much. The bitch went and bought it for me, <laughs> and I was so happy. I was so excited because y'all like literally like I have not bought anything for myself like oh my god in such a long time and if y'all do see me in new stuff it's because um either somebody bought it for me or it's, uh, somebody like you know what i'm saying a little sponsor and sent it to me but i've been on youtube so ain't nobody sent me shit so so excited how cute is this like look at the like oh my god and hold on let me multitask real quick look y'all the sleeves it got your girl Rose on there, Ruby Bridges, and Kamala Harris. Period. And I love it so much. Thank you so much, Amanda. I love it so, so much. And I love you. Oh! <laughs> <clears throat> so yesterday, um, my plan was to film, edit, you know, cook the food at whatever we was going to eat. Um... And folds. It was so many clothes, y'all. It was so many clothes. So I started off folding the clothes. Time always gets the best of me. Clearly, you know, with a three-year-old and a one-month-old, like, you know, one or the other gonna want some at one point of the time you trying to do something, okay? <sighs> so that's just what we did. And I was just like, you know what? Usually, like, I would beat myself up about it. Um, like literally like my anxiety be like shoot through the fucking roof and I be feeling so sick I just be feeling like the world is crashing down like you know just cause like one simple thing on the list is not crossed off and I just be feeling like I'm just fucking defeated I'm not like I don't really know how it's to put it come on now son so go he coming on out but yeah I just be feeling like man like pff, pff. Like, the whole fucking world is just about to blow up because I did not do one thing or something like that. Like, I like my anxiety has gotten so worse, so much worse, like, when I had um, Anla. I didn't really, I didn't really, I didn't really know, like, that I had anxiety, honestly. But then, like, um... You know, when I look back, you know, just in my adolescent years and shit, I'm like, oh, bitch, you had anxiety. Like, I never wanted to go nowhere. Like, and when I did go to parties or whatever, like, I would always, you know, and I'm talking about high school parties, middle school. Like, it, it could be anything. Like, everything. I just remember certain shit. And it's like, oh, my God. Like, I felt so sick in that moment. And I didn't even know what that was. I just gave me fucking anxiety. 
Like literally, cause I had still, I still had that same fucking like I get nauseous or like I get like just I shut down and I'll just like or I'll snap. Bitch, I don't know, but I literally had no clue that I had it. You know what I'm saying? I literally had no clue and like. I remember going to the doctor or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I thought, like, I don't know. I was just saying, I was like, shit, I thought I was depressed. You know what I'm saying? So, my, um, my, you know, my doctor at the time, he prescribed me, like, you know, some depression meds and stuff like that. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, this freaking son is trying to be really freaking disrespectful, honestly. Let's be real. But, um, like... Yeah, but he prescribed, like, I mean, you know, like, shit, I guess, you know, I don't, I don't know if anxiety was, like, a really big, th I don't know, I don't really know, but I didn't like the medicine, clearly, I, I don't feel like I was depressed, I don't, I don't feel like I was depressed, I just, I just needed ways to cope with stuff, like, during tests, I would get sick, I would fucking, like, my mind would be right, like, everything, everything, like, y'all, seriously, like, that, that's why it's so important with me, like, to, just pay attention to my kids, honestly, because, um, there were times, like, I would literally be, like, failing a fucking test because, like, I was, like, my, I, I was, I don't, uh, it's like I, my mind would be racing and, like, I didn't know, I didn't know, like, I felt like I was running out of time when it ain't even no time, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like, everything, everything. So, um, even, even when I got to college, like, I did not know how to, like, get away from that like test anxiety or like the fact that you know it was it wasn't enough time in a damn day even like right now i just feel like there's not enough time in a day when literally like sis take it easy but literally like y'all and i ain't gonna lie like i got i, I got so mad at ontario the, the other day because i mean and he's just trying to like you know what i'm saying add a little you know what i'm saying but it's like i don't really know how to handle it i don't know how to deal with it i don't I don't I like it's like when I'm when I'm when I'm in it when I'm you know I'm I guess I'm like frustrated or whatever and it's like it's just too much and it, it just really feeling like the fucking weight of the world is on my fucking shoulders on some little shit like okay if there's dishes in the sink just uh uh I don't like it I just don't like it I don't like it. I like, like, like any, like my counter to be clear. I'm very, like, I'm a very, um, minimal, minimalist. I guess I'll say that. Um, I really don't like a lot of stuff around me. I have to make my bed in the morning or my mind is like truly fucked up. Like that's the very first thing I have to do, which I found out that they worked for me. Like, um, during pandemic, honestly, because I was like, no, this shit ain't just, this just ain't working. Cause y'all know when we was in that apartment. And it was just, oh my God, it was just, oh my God. So, woo. But I'm not even gonna lie. Like, you know, meditation and yoga, that shit helped with anxiety for me, honestly. But I haven't meditated or done, or done yoga in like, bro, I don't, like, probably I was, I was probably two months pregnant. I was probably two months pregnant. So, like, y'all really, like, I was really, like... <laughs> My for for real for real my anxiety was truly getting the best of me during my pregnancy and I was just like out I just shut down I was just out but yeah anyway let me fold these damn clothes cause um the sun she ain't letting me make it.